I try to make it um, interesting and colourful and descriptive and dramatic and theatrical and also entertaining, entertaining. Good citizens of Sydney, please gather around. Firstly, we wish to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land upon which we stand. Elders past and present, for we are still a dream time place. Thank you, Graham Keady. Isn't he? Isn't our town crier the best town crier in the world? Yes. Yeah. My name is Graham Keating, and I have the honour of being the town crier for the fair city of Sydney. My role as the town crier for the city of Sydney is actually to embody and to express, to capture the spirit of the city and actually uh, project that and publicise that and uh, proclaim that to all and sundry, not just simply throughout the city of Sydney or Australia, but throughout the world. My duty as the town crier mainly uh, revolves around presenting uh, the Lord Mayor or uh, addressing a large crowd of good citizens of our magnificent city and then redirecting that attention to uh, the VIP, to the Lord Mayor or to a councillor or to, to whomever is actually addressing that particular audience. And what you learn very, very early in this role is that you are not the star, that you are in the, in the role, you have the business of actually publicising other people and drawing attention to other people, putting other people in the spotlight. And when you do, gather the crowd's attention and present the dignitary, the Lord Mayor, once you do present them with their name and say, it is now with pride, privilege and pleasure that I give you and please welcome, you then step aside, you step out of the spotlight and you let that person take over and they are the centre of attention. If you don't do that, they might not ask you back. <laughs> there are some, some little traditions it's great to keep, isn't it? I was taught by Daniel Jones and to speak from the diaphragm and also to project. And as I said before, as you I'm talking to you, I'm just not talking to an individual in front of me, but I'm talking to history or civilization uh, of the past and the future. So you make what you're saying epic and monumental and exciting and important and significant. So I've learned the, the theatrical kind of um, disciplines involved with being an actor and I brought that to the role of town crier, which makes me a little bit melodramatic, I think, and over the top. I don't think I could ever go back to being a stage actor or being in film because um, I'm too I'm uh, dramatic, I'm, I'm, I'm too flamboyant. Hello sir, welcome to our fair city of Sydney. I don't know how much longer I can keep being the town crier for the city of Sydney. I'm, I mean, I am 76 and I started off oh, just when I, when I was, what, 45 I think. I went through, what, 1988, which was the bicentenary. And then we had the Olympic Games, which was huge, and I was very heavily involved in that, and with the parades. There were so many parades through the city of Sydney, and through many, so many kind of ceremonies that took place on the steps of the town hall. I am privileged to be not only... Gosh, this is... This is mattering a great deal to me actually. Uh, the town cry for the city of Sydney and what an honour, what an honour. But in our profession, the entertainment profession, the, uh, the, the position of town crier is official and, and, and I'm in, I suppose in a way a dignitary. But you're in the profession of making people happy and you see um, a smile on their face and they are engaging in and involving themselves in and participating in and appreciating that we are a city, even though we're a little over 200 years old, but 
we do have a significant kind of series of events of which to be proud.